Namaste. I am Minakshi. I welcome you to this session of sharing your visions. This is the first in the series. We are going to start with sharing a vision of a new humanity. What are you co-creating in the world now? For the last seven years, my dream has been to build a place that could be a refuge for people uh, where they can reconnect with nature. I want to plant a healing and meditation garden that contains all medicinal plants, natural Ayurvedic medicine, plants from around the world that um, can bring healing. Not necessarily do you have to ingest these plants, but just sitting in the presence of the plants. At the so my mission in life is to create a space for happiness. And in the last few years, I realized that before we get to happiness, we have to start with love. So it's connecting with love and, and, and bringing more humanity to the workplaces and also to, to people's lives. So. I've tried to pull together uh, over the last year some greater understanding of why there are challenges to collaborating even among people who say they really want to do so. And so I, I feel like there is, there is a, an antidote to it, not just listening, but there is the love, the radiation of spiritual presence, but there's also techniques involved in, in helping organizations and groups work together and be more innovative. Advocating for native plants, advocating for people to take care of the earth, um, doing a geology video for our group, um, by um, interviewing um, a geologist in order to help us understand how to appreciate our, our uh, planet and our world and um, doing, doing, doing the best that I can to, to conserve and to um, um, grow myself. So. And so I've been particularly drawn to methodologies that allow us to blur the edges between money and not money. So usually that manifests through something called time banking. That's something I've, I've been uh, drawn to look into and to create here in my community. And then the other broader umbrella of things that I work on is what I'm going to call social climate. I actually do work on climate change, but I'm not somebody who's out holding posters and doing things in the traditional way. I'm kind of trying to heal communities and get them to work together and also do it in somewhat a playful way. So I can continue to develop and assist my clients. And that is basically with social, economic, um, get them so that they let go of the fear, the stress, so the way I, I want to co-create is helping other people to break out the cycle of a healing and to overcome that state of victimhood and trauma. I've seen that in many people and I was able myself to, to touch that deep self-love inside and, self and love for others. And I think we need that so much people that are stuck in healing the past I'm here i'm here to create divine grace and divine beauty which is divine love with divine wisdom and help awaken everyone to the core of what they carry which is source and connect back to that source and come from the source wherever or whenever they're working through meditation, through relationship consulting, through the book I've written, which I'm planning on re-editing. It's really just as a frequency holder. I feel that my purpose here is to bring in energy from the higher realms to infuse this planetary consciousness with um, an energy that will help to unify, uh, to transform, to heal. So really it's just creating a space for that to happen without any specific objectives. The place where gems like you can share what they're doing, what they're thinking and how they are 
bringing in, as Vivian said, the frequency of light as many of you are showing in so many different ways. I see all of us working on the different uh, chakras, the different aura uh, of the planet, uh, of humanity, of Gaia, and, and, um, and I want, I'm greedy to listen to everyone. I want to hear everyone. I want everyone to hear all of you. <laughs>